But as I began to drift off to sleep that night, dreaming about what other cool ants and creatures I'd stumble upon next, the rainforest actually gave me its second welcome gift, and one I'd never forget. It was crawling on my hand, and I just thought it was one of the male ants. But to my surprise, it wasn't. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. AC family, behold the beast I caught scuttling across the floor shortly after I was bitten. Check out the size of her. This here was the absolute biggest spider spider I've ever seen in real life. Now I say spider spider because this isn't by definition a tarantula, so to speak, but rather a huntsman spider, which I'll talk more about in a bit but it was certainly as big as many of my pet tarantulas I had back home. But there's something about this spider which I'll be revealing to you shortly. Not all is as it seems, AC family. I'll also attempt to feed this beast later in the video. So do stay tuned for all that coming up. Now I know a lot of you out there are arachnophobic, so I won't be showing too much footage of this spider moving around and stuff, but I will tell you this spider is lightning fast. My heart was racing a million miles a second trying to catch her and cup her into this container. A 10 minute process which I wasn't able to film because I would have had to set up my camera and it would have truly been hard to multitask such a thing. I'll just leave it to your imagination guys. But just know it took full hyper focused effort to catch it around my room and finally contain it. I still am shocked I managed to pull it off. Speaking of which, some of you may be wondering, Ants Canada, what was a spider of this size doing in your room? Well, if you saw last week's video, I'm currently residing in the rainforest in a cottage for the next few months. And needless to say, it's a total different and exotic world out here. In my first week, a full out nuptial flight happened in my room and I was able to collect 14 queen ants and place them in test tubes for rearing ant colonies from them, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And the next night, I got bit before going to bed, and here we are with this huntsman. Her face looked just crazy. Look at all those eyes and her fangs. Now there are actually more than a thousand species of huntsman spiders in the world, all belonging to the family Sporacidae. They eat insects, other spiders, lizards, and other small invertebrates. I know all you Australian AC family members might be familiar with these spiders. They're quick and get their name from their amazing hunting prowess. Which brings me now to feeding time. Let's try feeding your AC family, shall we? Now with ants, I usually pre-kill insect prey because I don't like seeing prey insects suffer over an extended period of time. But with arachnids, they need live prey because their movement allows the spider to perceive the prey as food. And so, I grabbed the closest and largest insect I could find in my room. A stray queen ant that was a day late in flying. Sorry queenie, you're a spider food tonight. The spider could feel the queen ant moving around her container. The queen stopped to clean herself. The huntsman spider sat patiently below. I was so ready to see this beast eat. My heart raced as I waited and waited and waited. But then in a sort of anti-climax, the queen ant did not move from her spot for the next several hours. Neither did the spider. Boo! I want my money back! A bunch of straggler male ants began to swarm the container at one point in the night, probably attracted to my cell phone light or the pheromones from the Queen of Late. So I decided the Queen wasn't going to be moving anytime soon, and perhaps the spider wasn't interested in the ant anyway. I went to sleep, and in the morning I released the uneaten Queen Ant. Now as mentioned earlier, there was something peculiar about this whole situation regarding the spider. And AC family, let me know if you agree with me. Listen to this. So the night before, when I was bitten in bed, I jumped up in utter agony and switched on the lights. 
My hand was burning with a sharp metallic pain that shot through my entire hand. The point of the bite was right here. You could see a little white spot where I felt the pain. But AC family, do you see something wrong with the situation? Let me know if you agree. If it was indeed the huntsman that bit me, I imagine there would be two fang marks or wounds on my palm. I don't think the spider's fangs were small enough that it would have pierced the skin, injected the venom, then retracted without creating some kind of wound on my palm. It was definitely fishy, right guys? You guys will also see in a sec another reason I definitely felt this spider wasn't the biting culprit we were looking for after all. Now I know what some of you may be thinking again. Ants Canada, let's keep her and build her a terrarium. But I hate to disappoint you guys. After thinking about it for a while, I decided to just release her outside. The reason for this is because she's a wandering spider that moves and travels great distances hunting for food. And I didn't think keeping her in an aquarium at my cottage would be the best quality of life for her. Unless it was a super massive tall aquarium, which definitely wouldn't fit in my cottage. It might fit in the future ant house, but not where I am now. Perhaps I'll try to find another like her before I move. Before releasing her, I managed to feed her a forest roach, which she relished lovingly. Now going back to what bit me the night before. A huge ant caught my eye scuttling across the floor that morning. And AC family, have a look at this beast. Equally as menacing as the huntsman, this huge and crazy looking ant is a queen trap jaw ant. She was massive. Have a look at those crazy trap jaws. She creeped closer and closer to inspect the lens of my camera as I watched in utter amazement. AC family, it seems last night was the nuptial flight for this massive species of trap jaw ant. And it made so much sense. My bite from the night before, which left no double fang wound, just had to be from a trap jaw queen ant. If you're new to ants, these trap jaw ants are truly exceptional in the ant world. They're called trap jaw ants because like huge bear traps, the ants have trigger hairs, which when touched, instantly set off the jaws to snap shut. Their jaws, which open 180 degrees, can close with tremendous speed. One of the fastest moving appendages known in the animal kingdom. And if this queen were the size of a human, a jaw crushing force equivalent to dropping 12 SUVs would be applied to whatever would be unfortunate enough to be within range of these jaws. Needless to say, creatures usually don't survive a bite from a trap giant. And I believe that to be the kind of power I felt when I was bitten. I had to be a bitten or possibly stung because they do have stingers by one of these trap jaw queen ants in my bed. AC family, what do you guys think? Man, it hurt so bad. It felt like my hand practically flung off my arm. So I actually ended up catching two trap jaw ant queens wandering my room that morning. And one of them had already shed her wings. And two days later, the wingless queen had actually begun egg laying. This was of course awesome because I wouldn't mind having a trap jaw ant colony again. I've owned trap jaw ants in the past, if you recall the jawbreakers. But this massive species will surely be interesting and different. I suspect this winged trap jaw queen might not have been mated, as she still hasn't laid any eggs to this day. But I'll be sure to keep a close watch on both of these queens and feed them in their test tubes as they're semi-claustral ants that need to be fed and hunt during the colony founding process. But AC family, now I ask you, what should we name this queen if she does turn out to be successful at founding a colony? Let me know in the comments section and your AC Senate and I will choose our top five favorites for us to vote on in a future video. Overall, living here in the rainforest for two weeks now has been quite a trip to say the least. The biodiverse wildlife seems to be so dense that creatures and beasts are spilling into my own living space from the outside. I know the idea might make some of you feel queasy, so just enjoy this experience with me through the safety of your screens. I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to follow along with me on this continuing adventure and experience out in this wilderness, the rainforest with all its diverse life forms. 
as I'm sure that this is just the beginning of all the amazing creatures and ants we will run into over the next few months that I'll be staying here. Lots of exciting things are definitely ahead, AC Family, so thank you again for watching and supporting the ants. Now I do have an update on the 14 huge queen carpenter ants that I caught from last week's episode. If you recall, we weren't sure if any of them had mated, and how many would successfully proceed to the next stage of colony founding. Seeing as not all queens in nature actually make it to successfully founding a full-sized healthy colony, only one queen had begun laying eggs at the time. But AC family, it's been over a week of the queens being left undisturbed in the dark. And I think you guys will love the great news and update I have to share. AC family, did you enjoy today's episode? So what do you think? Do you think I was bitten by the huntsman? the trap jaw, or possibly something else? Also, as mentioned, I have exciting updates on the 14 queen ants I caught from last week's episode. Don't miss this continuing real life adventure and story living in the tropical rainforest by smashing that subscribe button and bell icon now and hit all so you get notified at every upload. Also, don't forget to hit the like button every single time, including now. It would really mean a lot to me, guys. Thank you, AC and our colony. I have left a hidden cookie for you here. If you would like to watch extended play footage of our new trap jaw ant queens, go check them out. And guys, did you know that it's anting season in the Northern Hemisphere and you don't even need to leave your home to start an ant colony. You can catch pregnant queen ants from the safety of your own backyard, balcony, or open window starting this month. Be sure to visit antscanada.com for all your ant keeping and collecting gear shipped to you in a special package from our ant loving facility in the USA. So you can get the most out of your ant keeping experience. We ship worldwide and also offer full email support if you need our help. We also have a helpful forum and ant colony trading marketplace on the site. Visit antscanada.com today. And now it's time for the AC question of the week. Last week we asked, what do you think bit my hand while in my bed? Congratulations to Elaine Leo, who answered a trap jaw ant. Congratulations, Elaine. You just won a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. In this week's AC question of the week, we ask, how many species of huntsman spiders are there in the world? Leave your answer in the comment section and you could also win a free ultimate ant keeping handbook from our shop. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever.